Oh, killed the wolf tamer. Oh, the bone pile is over there. Let's get a mount on. I'm just kind of wondering how the fuck will I get up here? It looks like the kind of place where you have to get up from a different angle. Unless the thing's on the water. Which I doubt. Which I doubt it is. No, according to this, it's just a little up the cliff. So let's have a look around, shall we? I do see a way up there, but I'm not sure how far it goes. It could literally be just that bank. Let's have a wee look around, shall we? If only I could use my seahorse here. Okay, I see a way of how, how I'm going to have to do this. I'm going to have to go up to the... here, and I, I jump off. Not the best way of doing it, but I suppose it gets the job done. Huh. That's a... interesting texture. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not sure if that's just a graphical glitch, or if it's meant to be something. Like a tarp. Like, there is just a ton of blankets now. It would be kind of weird and out of place. But you never know. Uh, Any details? Grizzle Mall's bone pile. I can't get up that way. This is why I want a flying mount down. Uh, mount. Yes, I want a flying mount. No. Uh, flying mount. Uh, solve these problems. Ah, here it is. Ten discarded bones. Can I come back and get more? Of course not. Uh, let's just auto uh, move back. It's, apparently people used that. There was a thing in the game. Uh, well, it's not in the game. It was people cheating. But they would like have a button on their keyboard. They would hit it. And their character would run to like Iron Forge. At least that's what I remember being told. Whether that's accurate or not, I'm not sure. I wasn't around during Classic. I came in very late Burning Crusade, uh, Wrath of the Lich King. I remember, before I actually started this character, playing a Blood Elf. Um, one sec. Then, uh, when I got, like, I was given the Wrath of the Lich King expansion, but a gift by, uh, by my aunt. When I, uh, when she gave me that, that I ended up making a drain I not long after. Excuse me. The one enemy I wanted just over here. There it is. Murmur. I have uh, encountered Murmur in a previous video. The I did a Dungeons of Aushadun. Uh, I did that ages ago. Some last year or the year before. I've been around for like a year and a half now or something. Over a year. Not quite two yet though. Uh, in June, I'll be two years, I'll be making YouTube videos. Um, wait, June. The, which, it, honestly, the time's flown, flown by. Uh, I made it back first, during the first year. Anyway. Aural, uh, con Conjuration. Gathering strength to take physical form in this realm, invulnerable while between dimensions. Murmur is apparently incredibly powerful. And it's just like, 
experimental sound or something. I really don't remember the details. Uh, I would actually have to run out to do it again and read the book there to find out. But yeah, it is Shadow Council trying to summon it in. Um, same in the Aushadun. They try and summon it in there as well, and it doesn't work out well for me. No! The ritual is incomplete! Who dares interrupt my arrival? I can make so much- I can make a joke there. I interrupted his arrival. I inter interrupted him coming. Uh, uh, it's terrible. My power! It fades! No. Echo of Murmur. Oh, it's a little baby murmur. Hang on, let's see what that means. Release Murmur's Wail. Wait. Demon Hunter's Aspect. Resemble a Demon Hunter for five minutes. It's a promotion, sadly. Not something you can easily get. Gaze of the Dark Moon. Ah, it's uh, Dark Moon Fair. Firewater Conch. It allows you to see into the distance and gain the ability to create small droplets of water. Inscribed with Jinyu runes that allow the, waver, the user to understand the language of the waves. If it kills Zai the Outcast in Kunai Summit. Fendril Seed Pouch. It's a druid only one. Harness the essence of fire granted to the druids of the flame. The seeds inside have been charred black by the blazing heat of the firelands. Far Fury Totem. It's a uh, place of Far Fury, Fury Totem. They'll set the sky on fire for 10 minutes. One hour cooldown. Horde only. Flames dance playfully around the totem. Fool's Gold. Place a node of Fool's Gold. Players may use a node to summon the, t the temporary greedy uh, kobold non-combat uh, non pets. That's actually kind of cool. Uh, do, 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 do. Here we are. Alright. Uh, where is the wanker? Here we go. I'm very sweary today. But then again, aren't I always? Huh. That was something. Not sure what to describe it as, but that was certainly something. Uh, frost Wolf only uh, toy. Uh, interacting with the permanent frost essence lowers the body's temperature for two minutes. Perpetual purple, purple rocket. Shoots a rocket into the air that bursts into a thousand purple stars. It's a um, prom promotional thing. Ooh. Pendant of the Scarab Storm. Some of the storm of peaceful scarabs. It's the FBI archaeologist. Um, do archaeology to get it. And since it's scarabs, it's probably this one. Um, it's Alduar, no, Oldham, which is a desert place. Scarabs would probably fit in pretty well there. Glitter wing. Ah, that's what I was looking for. I just figured I may as well kill the rare while I'm here. <laughs> there we go. Breath of Telador. A gust of wind propels you forward. It can only use, be used in Telador. Unique 60. I don't know why it says Unique 60 when you can reuse it. Then again, sometimes the, tool, the item's effects change without the tooltips being fully adjusted. Like the uh, Ashen, um, Asheran uh, horn and nest, Lost Horn and uh, Nesting Way, or Nesting Way's Lost Horn. Um, 
it kind of, it says it's on an hour cooldown, so you think, oh, I can use it multiple times. No, it's a one-use item. It the tooltip didn't get changed. It may, hopefully, it did in six point one, but it's possible it still didn't. I don't know. I didn't check. I used mine before, um, maybe before six point one. I'm not entirely sure. But I used it previously, and so I can't easily check. I know some tooltips have been adjusted, such as this. And it's previously said it gave you 200 points. Now it only gives you 100. Oh, I now have five of the guy's journal. Damn. Oh, no. Apparently, I can't delete this journal. I have to stick with all of them. I'm just gonna leave it in there. Let's pretend I never saw it. Okay, um... I'll clean up my inventory now in a moment. I have stuff to sell and all that. And I'm both an auction house and to a vendor. I also have this to do. I would be doing the high mall raid, but I just don't have the resources. Well, the abilities available. Abil uh, characters with the abilities I have, but not at the right level, so I may as well not have them because they ca can't really contribute much to it. Oh, here it is. Beyond, beyond the Pale. I still have Tower of Terror, despite the fact I can't use those stones, so I'm just going to ignore that. Black, the Pain Master, Ronk, the Tug, Wreck, the Emaciated. The Blade Fist, there we go, Blade Fist, clan are capturing pale prisoners. We suspect they're looking for the same elemental runes as Khadgar. Eighteen of them. Whew, nice. Equivalent of killing two bosses. But of course, it's beyond the pale. I remember, the phrase prop is... How should I word this? Basically, I've seen that phrase being used here in relation. I've heard that phrase before, and I want to just confirm its origins before I make a fool of myself. Basically, there's a part of Ireland once known as the Pale. It was the part of Ireland that England had a good hold of uh, at one stage. Um. And I'm just going to look at Wikipedia. The pale, uh, beyond the Pale may refer to the Pale, a demarcation line in Ireland while under English domination, a usage, usage associated with the phrase beyond the Pale, meaning unacceptable behaviour. Yeah, I was assuming that it was actually re referring to that part of Irish history where it was actually... Uh, Ireland was controlled by England, and why not? Maybe it is other histories, but there's actually more to it there than just that, but it seemed like music and why not. Uh, in radio, there's a, a Jewish, uh, there's a program about Jewish culture and politics called Beyond the Pale. There's also two films, uh, Beyond the Pale, it's a 1999 film, and there's the Zeitgeist, Beyond the Pale. It's a fourth installment in the Zeitgeist film series. There's a Canadian... Ba uh, K L E Z M E R and folk music band called Beyond the Pale. Then there's multiple different music... Like, things in that category of music and comedy. And then there's literature. Actually, a Rudyard Kipling book called Beyond the Pale. It's a short story. It's in Plain Tales from the Hills, if you're curious. But yeah, it's... Uh, one thing. Oh, okay. Um, Wikipedia, w which has been known to be inaccurate in a few things, so take this with a grain of salt. 
the word pale derives ultimately from the Latin word palus, meaning stake, specifically a stake used to support a fence. From this comes from this came the figurative meaning of boundary, and eventually the phrase beyond the pale, as something outside the boundary. Also derived from the boundary concept was the idea of the pale as an area within which local laws were valid. The term was not was used not only for the pale in Ireland, but also various other English colonial settlements, notably English Calais. I probably mispronounced that, but whatever. In addition, the term pale of settlement was applied to the area in, west, in the west of Imperial Russia where Jews were permitted to reside. So, there you go. Uh, do, 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 do. I still can't send anyone to go do the High Mall raid because I, not everyone is at 6.45. As I, no, I actually did that off line. Um, also, I rejigged her abilities a few times. Uh, no, just her, these two things. Just her abilities, not her traits. So she's a little different. I, I don't have the... Like, n not everyone's at, at the correct level. Okay, I'm gonna have to deactivate him. It would go over the... my limit. Uh, but here's one person I know I'll have on my team. Her. Master Assassin. Incre greatly increases success chance against all targets. Furies. Ogres. Undead. All of them get... Uh, she gets a bonus against. If it's underground, she doesn't have a bonus there. But if it's against a specific target, yeah. At least that's I'm assuming how it works. Uh, so, I can't wait to get her, but that'll be much later on in the quest chain. I'll presumably have to finish all the current legendary quests. Ooh, I've been meaning, I meant to turn in Heart, heart of the Fury. Um, I go, go do that. Also, I um, this is a PvP mount. I earned it quite a while back. Don't remember when. Actually, while I'm flying flying to Zangara, I should be able to find that out. PvP. Uh, I got that in 2010, apparently. Oh, I killed um Troll back in 09. I know it says Zuljin. But, at the time, it was Troll. Hmm, cool, cool. Damn, I didn't realize Rather Lich King was out in 09. Like, fuck, I was playing in 08. <laughs> like, uh, the times kind of blurred together for me, so I have no idea, like, when I play, like, when, like, certain events were, if you get me. So, damn. Sadly, I was saying we were actually working on trying to kill all the leaders of the horde, but we kicked someone out of our raid party, and they were being an idiot or something, and they really weren't happy with us. So they went and told the horde that we were going to be attacking. At least that's the story I remember. Maybe I'm incorrect. Maybe I'm correct. I'm. It's been years. Six to be exact. <laughs> it's. It's quite a while. I do remember trying to assault the Blood Elf place, but it not working because the Horde were prepared for us. Elemental Furies appear to be unique to Draenor. It may be something about the primal nature of this world. Careful, careful, set it down gently. I'll take it from here. The heart of a fury is nothing to toy with. A, a gnarled husk of smoldering flesh. Something still reeking of sulfur. I will be smoldering flesh. Why would like, an elemental of fire have a fleshy heart? That's interesting and 
raises a, quite a few questions. Thirty gold and eighty silver. Shadow Sporebat. They're kind of cute, to be honest. 